special. I guess it's safe to say that I have some eccentricities and I do some weird shit. I thought I would share them with you today. I am a bit weird. And you know what the worst thing is? I can't blame any of these on being mental. I'm just really, really weird. But I'm not ashamed and that's what this video is about. I never really had any friends at school. I was always the old one out. I've always loved performing. And whilst that's not exactly very weird, I know that in my brain, I was a bit weird. I just kept it inside. And as a grown up, I've kind of let some of that weirdness out, but because of my confidence and my self-hatred, I've kind of tried to keep it reined in. A few years ago, when I kind of had nothing, when you have nothing, I guess I was kind of of the opinion of, well, as I've got nothing, I've got nothing to lose. And I just let my weirdness have free reign over my personality. And I'm proud to say that I am weird. I am weird and I am proud. So today I'm gonna to share with you some weird stuff that I say and do in the vain hope that it might make you embrace your weirdness, your eccentricities, your uniqueness, your specialness. Special. Because, you know, everyone's different. I hope this video makes you see that no one should ever make you feel like because you are a different person to them that that makes them better than you. So here are just some things that I do that are a bit weird. I mean, some of them might not be as weird as I think, I don't know. Now see, I'm gonna start off with something that I didn't realize was weird until my boyfriend pointed it out to me. Apparently, I have been pronouncing half of the English language wrong all of my life. I've tried to think of some examples, but I can only remember two of them. If I can remember any more, then I will put them below. It's really funny as I will just use a word that I think I'm pronouncing correctly, and suddenly I'll look across to Sam and he's just pissing himself laughing and I'm like, what's so funny? And he'll like, just say that again. And I'll say it again and he just starts laughing even harder. And it turns out that I'm pronouncing a word wrong. And I think the reason that this is, is because I left school so young, I read. So if I read a word, then I didn't hear it being said. So that's what I'm going to use my excuse as. And the two examples I'm going to use, actually, I can't use that excuse as. It's just my own brain has just decided that I'm going to pronounce these words that way. The first word is Neanderthal. Now, it's supposed to be Neanderthal. That's how it's spelt. But for some reason, my brain always read it as Neanderthal. But I can't get my head around the fact that it's not Neanderthal, because that's how I saw it as. And in my life, I've said it as Neanderthal. And I don't think I will ever be able to say Neanderthal. That doesn't make any sense because in my head it's always been Neanderthal and that's the word. So how am I supposed to say a word differently that for 31 years has always been Neanderthal? It's not Neanderthal, that's not a real word. And the other word is moot. What kind of word is moot? Now in case you don't know what word I'm talking about, moot is when if you're saying that is a moot point, moot. That is not a real word. The word that I thought it was was mute. That makes sense because mute is if you're saying silent. It doesn't matter. No. It's a mute point. The volume is down because it doesn't matter. See, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's a mute point. But no. Apparently I am wrong and the rest of the world is right. Can the rest of the world just watch this video just for this little bit? Listen, what kind of a word is mute? Oh, that point is moot. That's a moot point. That just sounds like a cow who's got some kind of a speech impediment. That's not a word. Whereas, that's a moot point. That makes sense, okay? Now the next one, you will probably already know. I have mentioned it before and you will have noticed from my videos. I talk too much. I don't know why, but I seem to have no verbal filter. It's partly a little bit mental. I can't actually properly blame it on my mentalness. But if something is in my brain, I have to say it. I can't hold anything in. And don't worry, I'm good at keeping secrets. I just have like no verbal filter. I will say something and then like three seconds later, I'll be like, oh shit, I can't believe I just said that. And the next thing kind of follows on with that. But like when I send a text message, I won't just send a text message. I will send 
a fucking war and peace epic message. Even if somebody's just asked me a simple question that all it requires is yes or no, I will send five bloody pages and I have no idea why, like, I speak so much and why I text so much. But when I look back, when I try and edit it down, I can't take any words out because all those words are required, all those words are needed. Now this is a bit weird, well it's very weird, everything's weird that I'm talking about because that is the point of this video, but it's a bit weird to be talking about it. When I go to the toilet, bear with me, I will literally like wait to the last minute to go to the toilet. I think it's part laziness I guess because like I can't just can't be bothered to go to the toilet like you have to get up out of bed and just walk all the way to the toilet even though it's just outside my door who wants to go to the toilet it's so boring unless you just like squeeze your wee out really slowly and sit there watching like youtube videos for half an hour it's really boring so i really can't be bothered to go to the toilet so i will literally wait to the very last minute and then I am in trouble because I obviously can't move very fast but I'm like oh shit 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 and you'd think I'd learn because due to my eating disorder I have like a weak bladder so that's probably a really stupid thing to do and I should probably not do it but I was never one to be sensible. I would literally lie in bed and I'd be like I need to go to the toilet, I need to go to the toilet, I need to go to the toilet about half an hour and I'll be desperate for the toilet and then I'll just be like, oh shit. Uh, see, this next thing is something that makes me look absolutely mental. I have this really weird habit of bursting into song when I'm out in public. And I think it stems from the fact that when I'm on my own, because I get very anxious, I will have my headphones in. So I will be listening to music and that alone is dangerous because I will just sing along to whatever music I'm listening to. This morning, for example, I was in Sainsbury's. I had one headphone in because mum was with me, so I needed one out to listen to her. And I just started singing along to Judas's death from Jesus Christ Superstar. And I was singing along and I suddenly looked up to mum and she was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And it's really dangerous if I'm listening to my rap playlist because I will just drop some really sick beats in the middle of a shop. I have no shame. I do have some shame. And yesterday I was out with Sam and he was pushing me in the wheelchair and I suddenly just started singing. I can't even remember why. It wasn't like even a song. I was just like randomly humming some weird shit. And these people started looking at me and he was like, you look absolutely mental. Oh dear. This video probably should have been called Annoying Things That Charlotte Does. This next one is pretty weird. When I'm watching the film, if I'm on my own, then I will literally watch it in like five minute chunks. Or even TV shows, not just films. I'll watch it in five minute chunks and I'll watch like five or 10 minutes. I'll like browse the internet or do a bit of editing or watch a YouTube video or just something. I'll kind of watch it in like five, 10 minute chunks, like every 20 minutes. It's really weird, but that's how I like watching things. And when I watch like um, TV shows or films with Sam, I will just talk non-stop all the way through. It drives him a little bit nuts. And I'm kind of learning to like hold it in a little bit. It, it's probably really annoying. Oh crap, mum's just heard everything that I'm saying. That's really embarrassing. I need to keep my voice down talk very loudly. The last thing makes me laugh a lot and it also makes me look very weird and it actually is laughing a lot. If I think of something funny, like if I think of a joke or something makes me laugh, I can't say it because I'm laughing so much. Like even if it's just something really stupid and not actually funny, I actually can't get the words out because I will be just an absolute mess. I'm laughing so much at myself. Not just because I think I'm the funniest person in the world, but just because in my head, I just cannot comprehend getting the words out because I'm just saying over and over in my head. When I think of something funny or something funny's happened, I can't get it out to say it again to tell someone. Either to repeat it if something's happened or to tell someone if I've like thought of something funny to say because I just can't stop laughing. And often I'll be like pissing myself laughing as if I'm about to say the funniest thing and then I'll come out with the most stupid thing. Often like I can't I can't actually get it out the first time I have to say it like 20 times because I'm just 
absolutely creased up. What can I say? I am just really, really weird. But I'm not ashamed of that. And that's what this video is about. And I hope you like it. If you do like it, then please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I will be back next week with another video. And I hope you all have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.